First up, Richard Pagola, a Fergalicious Barbecue from Gardner, Kansas. Now, I know a guy that's a former wrestling coach, gonna have his game face on the entire competition. He's also a KCBS certified judge, so you know he knows how to put the right meat in the box. My name is Richard Fergola. We've been competing in barbecue for two years now. As KCBS judges ourselves, we sit at that table and know what to look for. Our very first contest that we ever competed in, we finished third in brisket. Being former wrestling coach, it's all about repetition, and you're gonna get better the more you do it. All we do is we just keep trying to cook as much as we can and get better and better and better with our cooks. And I approach barbecue that way. I'll come in and bring my A game expecting to win. Right there, perfect bite. <laughs> We have never cooked a prime rib roast, but we're used to cooking brisket. So we're just gonna attack this thing like a brisket. But our game plan is that we're gonna try to give the judges several options. We wanna carve up some loin meat, some flat meat, and the rest we're gonna leave whole. We're gonna try to give those guys that bone-in prime rib roast. Beef injection here, and we're gonna use our normal beef injection that we use for brisket. It's a commercial injection that has phosphates to add moisture to the meat. We add some beef broth to it just to pump up the beef flavoring. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of our beef rub on here. This is a commercial rub. It's gonna have some salt, sugar, cumin, garlic, and onion. And that is a real strong Kansas City barbecue flavor. I'm gonna turn in the best prime rib roast that those judges have ever had. Putting that on at about 250 degrees. Looking for an internal tip of about 140. Putting this beef loin on. This is gonna be like our beef flat, similar to our brisket flat, which we're very familiar with in Kansas City. Looks delicious. So we're gonna pull this loin out, and man, does it look good. It's got a great color. It's got some good feel to it. The beef loin is at our target temperature, 135 degrees. So we're gonna add a little bit of the rub in here that we put on the loin, just to add a little bit more flavor. That last pop that the judges are gonna love. We're gonna wrap it to keep hot and put it in our hot hold until it's time to turn in. Now I turn my focus to our prime rib roast. We wanna take it out of the cooker because it's been on the pits for three hours. It feels wonderful. I'm gonna add a little bit more rub to make it pop out to the judges. That sweet heat rub is a real Kansas City barbecue flavor. Wrap it and put it in our hot hold. Now we're gonna check this flat. Our target temp of this prime rib flat is 135 degrees. We're seeing these that are about 140 degrees. I'd actually like to take these out. I'm not sure why they cook so quickly. We're gonna wrap that and let it rest so they can steam, get some more moisture. We're just trying to get it tender and juicy.